Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. We are from Mushroom Group. We will explain our material about business plan. Before we start our explanation, please let me introduce my members. First, Aziza Al-Fadila, Firanti Zahra, Maulida Fitriah, Putri Rahmadani, Sayri Khairunisa, and me, Sabrina Sifaulia. Here, we will talk about what is the definition of business plan, the purpose of making a business plan, structures of a business plan, and making a business plan. And now, please let me give a short explanation about what is the definition of a business plan. A business plan is a formal document that provides a goal, strategies, and tactics of a company for achieving their goals or their success. And the purpose, the other purpose of making a business plan to avoid any mistakes that might happen in the future in the company. A business plan has structures such as executive summary, the preparation of business plan, and the main list of business plan. To make a business plan, we have to make the cover of business plan, the table of content, business executive summary, the introductions, the market analysis and market opportunities, production aspect, and the last financial aspect. And now let's move to the, the clear explanations uh, start from the definition of business plan. Okay, I would like to continue about the material. Uh, the material is definition of business plan. Before we know about the definition, uh, we know um, so many opinions from uh, the expert about the meaning of a business plan. And this is uh, the conclusion or general conclusion of the business plan. Business plan is a document provided by an entrepreneur that creates a detailed narrative about the past, current state, and future trend of a business. An analysis of management, the physical condition of the building, employers, products, source of capital, information about the company, operation, so far, and the market position of the company, as included in the content in this definition. Okay, that's all from me, back to moderator. Hey friends, I will explain or to talk the next material about the purpose of making business plan. The first is purpose of business plan. The purpose, first purpose is is a guide for entrepreneurs in carrying out their business. The point here is that a business plan can be a guide for entrepreneurs in operating their business. The second purpose is is a written assessment material. The purpose is a written assessment material in assessing the success of the business that has been implemented so far. The next is as an evaluation material, where this business plan will evaluate weakness in achieving business target that have occurred to determine next step based on experience and mistake it may have occurred in the business plan in the past. The, and the next is, is a grid for external parties in assessing business condition. The point is that a good business plan can give confidence to prospective investors, creditors, or 
investor to invest in entrepreneurs. And the next and the next purpose is is a basis for maximizing the resource that have been described. The next material about the characteristic of business plan. First characteristics is focus based on vision, mission, and goals. What this means is that when we are planning a business, we must focus on the vision, mission, and business that we are going to undertake so that we can grow and they get big profit. And the second characteristic is have rationality and factuality. This means that the business can made must be reasonable, realistic, future oriented, and supported by existing facts. And the third characteristic is consider future condition and prediction. This means that the business plan that is made is prepared for sustainable action by considering condition and prediction and having in full thinking so that the business plan can be competitive. The next characteristic is, is preparatory and flexible. Business plan is a good or in carrying out future business action and in use in the future. And the last characteristic is operational. This operational means simple, detailed, and can be implemented. Okay, the next material I will explain about the function of business plan. The first function is action plan. That means the business plan that will help you move and take business action. Business planning will help us to divide the process in question into small and clear parts. The second function business plan is road made. A business plan helps us to stay focused and in the direction we want to achieve a goal it has been designed and also business planning will help other parties to understand the vision of the business that will be carried out. And the last function is sales tool. Sales tool. This section is the most important part in the business planning because the sales tool is a tool that we can use to get investment in the business. I think that's all for me. Back to moderator. Thank you. Okay, I'm Firanti Zahra. Now I will continue the presentations. Uh, so let's talk about part of the business plan. Before that, I want I want to tell you how uh, to make a good uh, and correct uh, business plan. First, a good and correct business plan uh, must be short and concise, organized and good-looking, promising plan, avoid exaggerating the projections, state the risk that will be faced, trusted, an effective team, focus, target market, and realistic and specific. So uh, let's talk about part of the business plan. So the business plan that is compiled is not too thick. It's recommended that is no more than 50 pages. The preparations of the business plan must be neat and good. The front cover of the business plan must include the company name, address, company telephone number, and that date. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, next. A business plan that must include an executive summary. The preparations of a business plan must be well organized. A good business plan will include the main risk of a business. Like, okay, that's all uh, uh, for me. Uh, back to moderator.
Okay, I will explain about the business plan proposal format for beginner entrepreneurs. The first one, we must have front cover. The front cover of a business plan proposal must have provision, namely the use of image and attractive cover designs using a logo or symbol that become the identity and symbol of the business and core company data information. So, uh, the image and signs of the front cover of the proposal must be able to represent the type and character of the business plan as reflected in the appropriate design and colors. And also uh, use the company's logo or symbol, which is, is the identity and symbol of the business. And the last, inform the company for data like name, address, and contact number. The second one is complete table of contents with chapters and subchapters contained in the business plan. What does it mean? So, a table of contents serves as the outline of a business plan. It assists the reader to navigate through the document and is placed at the beginning of a business plan and also this helps the reader effortlessly find the browse track the topics that interest them and the third one is business executive summary what this mean the executive summary of a business plan is a design to capture the reader's attention and briefly explain your business and also the problem you are solving the target audience and and also uh, have key financial information okay next is introduction this section uh, can contain company background and company biodata this is have a history of business establishment, history of its founding, vision and mission of business, company data, and also have data of business owners and management. Next. Okay, next is market analysis and market opportunities. Market analysis and market opportunities have the first one is market overview or STP, uh, like uh, market segment, target market, and positioning. What is market segment? Market segment is an overview from business consumers. Target market is a specific target for potential consumers of the business. And the last is positioning is how we position our business among competitors similar business okay next is production aspects production aspects is uh have like products uh price promotion and something like that and the last is financial aspects financial aspects uh, have uh, the first one is business founding source strategy. Uh, one component that supports national development is the availability is intermediary institution which have the function of collecting funds from the public and channel channeling them back to the uh, channeling. And the second one is financial projection the financial aspect of a business proposal must be able to show the potential of funds own the need for external funds the calculation of business possibility and also including the performance of three financial reports okay that's all from me next slide i will explain by study hermisa all right, thank you. So the next material can be explained by me. All right. So the next material is the entrepreneurial project best learning entails the formulation of a business plan. So the first, we should know about the introduction to entrepreneurial project best learning, and then what the key stages in the process and the benefits of the approach. So 
uh, create a systematic business plan meeting a requirement and condition for the internet venture. So ensure that your business plan is well structured and includes all necessary elements to meet the specific uh, requirements and condition of your intended venture. So a systematic approach will help in throughout planning and execution. So utilize the four C competencies of the 21 century like uh, critical thinking, creativity, communication, and also collaboration. So embrace the 21 century skills of critical thinking like analytical reasoning, creativity, innovative problem solving, communication like clear and effective interaction, and collaboration such as working together harmoniously. And then these competencies are vital for modern business success. So the next slide is uh, about the key passes in entrepreneurial project-based learning. So we are able to see in our slide, uh, there are several pages like task one, essential problem and formulation, and then task two, business plan and product development, and task three, activity schedule creation, task four, business planning proposal results, and past five, business planning proposal presentation. So this brief table outlines the key components of past one for addressing the challenges faced by the TD lights, like such as the example, we are able to see TD lights milk this store. So it provides a structure approach to understanding the problem for the further investigation and potential improvement. So the next is pass to business plan and product development. Uh, the, the example of the project of the past two is like eco phrase and sustainable food delivery service startup. So it includes aspect related to business planning, product development, market research, financial projection, and legal compliance setting clear milestone for the project. So uh, the third is task three, activity schedule creation. This table provides a timeline and key activities for task three. Uh, we are able to know the example is uh, like FitLife, a mobile app project. Uh, FitLife is a mobile app project to project the past three and it outlines the start and end dates for its activity like helping the project team and stakeholders understand the schedule for app development and launch. And then the past four is business planning proposal result. Ensure that the proposal's content aligns with the learning activities specified on the worksheet provided in the book. So the make sure time that the content of your proposal is aligned with the learning activities and requirement outlined in the worksheet provided in the course materials or textbook. So this is ensures that your proposal is consistent with the objectives and expectations set by the course. So the next is the past fifth or past five like business planning proposal presentation. So actually, this typically includes slides, documents, or any visual aids that will help you effectively convey the key points of your business plan proposal. So delivering the project outcomes, your presentation should communicate the results and conclusion of your project, highlight how your business plan proposal addresses identify your business opportunities and resolves issues identified during problem making. So based on identified basic opportunities uh, can explain that your proposal is rooted in the opportunity you have identified. And then in the past five, involves creating presentation materials to showcase your project outcome with a uh, true focus on your business proposal, yeah, in your business plan proposal, it's alignment with identified business opportunities and how it addresses the problems identified during your mapping process.
So we are able to know the prepare presentation material for delivering the project outcomes when encompasses the business plan proposal based on identified business opportunity and problem mapping that has been conducted. Maybe that's all for me. Back to the moderator. Okay, now we come to the end of this session. Um, before we close this section, let's summarize what we have learned for today. First is what is the definition of business plans? What is the purpose of the business plan? The structures of business plan and how to make a business plan. Business plan is a formal document that is provide goals, strategies, and tactics of a company for achieving their success. And the structures of a business plan, the executive summary, the preparation of business plan, and the main risk of a business. And how to make a business plan, we start from making the cover, table of content, then business executive summary uh, of the business executive summary, then move to the introduction, market analysis and market opportunities, production aspect, and the last financial aspect. Okay, thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.